Why do people get addicted to gambling? When we talk about gambling, the first image that comes to mind features glitzy casinos and stacks of cash. We think of fun, luck, and thrill. Some people enjoy gambling, while others have a gambling disorder. So what's the difference between the two, and what makes a person develop a gambling disorder? Most adults who gamble do not have a gambling disorder, but what might start as light gambling can become addictive in the same way drugs can. An addicted gambler can spend all their savings, drown in debt, have poor work performance, and ruin their professional and personal relationships. As these problems intensify, gamblers become a higher risk of depression and suicide. Researchers have studied the reasons why gambling can become less enjoyable and more compulsive for years. They have examined the brain to understand what makes gambling so captivating and addictive. Gambling evokes a feeling of uncertainty, and with that comes a deep desire to win it all. On the other hand, dopamine, the neurotransmitter the brain releases during enjoyable activities, is also released during situations where the reward is uncertain. The release of dopamine increases during the moments leading up to a potential reward, and it is believed to be the reason for the risk-taking behavior seen in gambling. But unlike addiction to drugs and alcohol, gambling addiction has less noticeable signs. Withdrawal signs include restlessness and irritability. However, Repeated exposure can cause reward pathways to become hypersensitive, and studies have shown that gamblers can become more prone to substance and drug abuse as a result. Furthermore, repeated exposure to gambling and uncertainty can change the way a gambler responds to losing. It was found that losing can trigger almost the same amount of dopamine that is released while winning, which encourages the gambler to keep playing rather than walking away. Casinos aim to hook players, but this approach can become addictive. Gambling in casinos is not just about the act of playing. It is also an immersive experience that includes visual and auditory stimulation. Lights and sounds can capture attention and induce the urge to keep playing. The busy environment around gamblers also gives them a sense of competition and the urge to continue. If you happen to have a gambling problem, health and well-being experts recommend some simple steps you can take, like paying your bills before gambling and dealing with your debt problems independently. Spending time with your family or friends who don't gamble, enjoying the outdoors, and exercising are all pleasant activities that satisfy the reward system in the brain without the need to gamble. Cognitive behavior therapy, or CBT, can help gamblers change their way of thinking. For instance, they can stop seeing gambling as a way to make money and deal with the anxiety, guilt, and shame that ensues. There is no medication that the FDA has approved for gambling disorder, but scientists have found that a drug called naltrexone is able to block the opioid receptors, which are the same receptors that help our brain process rewards. In the meantime, more research is being conducted to determine if naltrexone could someday become a go-to treatment for gambling. With all the related mental health problems and conditions, do you think the chance of winning big offsets the risks of gambling? Share your thoughts in the comment section.